Hello and welcome to my channel. Well, today I'm going to show you guys some stats for some numbers. There's a lot of misinformation that are being posted on my channel comments that if it's 0 W 20 or 0 W 40 or 0 W 20, whatever that might be, as long as it starts with a 0, the kinematic viscosity for 0 W are the same. Just because it has 0 in front of W, people automatically assume viscosity is the same. Well, I've been searching for the same numbers and I cannot find it. So someone is spreading misinformation out there. And for many, it's just a way of life is to copy it and keep spreading it. However, well, what are they gonna settle it? I'm gonna expose the, all the false claims and go from there. So let's take a look at the mobile 0 W20 kinematic viscosity at 40 the cold. That's cold. 40 C is cold. And if you look at the screen right here, here is 0 W20 mobile website. And look at this. It's 42. Okay. 42 number 42. Okay. Again, mobile. 0 W40 kinematic viscosity for right there the 0 W40 72 so it's much thicker it's cold so it's much harder to pump so is there 62 in cold weather is going to have problems with the 0 W40 absolutely I've already made a separate video what issues they're going to have what are the restrictions I'll add in this video you have a GM has like many others lately has a vacuum pump vacuum pump requires thin oil what happens if you don't take oil you're gonna have lots of wear you're gonna have a lot of first not gonna work until it warms up properly until it's flowing better and you're gonna have significant wear whining some noise because of this thicker oil especially in the states colder states and there's more to it because it's 42 and 72 you know that's a significant increase in the viscosity especially when cold same thing with hot if you look at the viscosity 100 c 13.9 versus 8.2 that's a big jump it's not twice as much a times and a half it's a significant change so you think the engine is going to have a hard time in the cold weather northern states absolutely GM haven't not tested. GM has many brands, you know, to pacify people's concerns. They throw the band-aid and they hope it works. Because GM doesn't have the qualified engineers to make this decision, to test it. A lot of those engineers have left, they were fired, let go, cost cut in savings. And young engineers, Many of them are clueless and dumb and have no clue. They never worked on their on a, on a car, and and they never know what viscosity is. And you, you know, the upper management screaming, yelling, find a fix. They're like, okay, let's throw this, increase the viscosity, and hope it helps. And many people are like, oh yeah, GM is switching to zero W forty. Must be solving the problem. They're not gonna solve the problem. If there is a metallurgy issue, thicker oil is not going to solve. Thicker oil never solved the problems when it came to wear. When the engine is cold, you're always going to have more problems. It's just a way of life. It's just a fact. Hard fact, hard to swallow, and it becomes a choking point for many. Because they don't want to hear the truth. And if you're not here for the truth, don't even comment. Move on. So, well, thanks everyone who's interested in truth, in facts. And I present it to you. This is the kinematic viscosity that oil companies follow the standard ASTM to come up with. And they record this. It just you cannot have thicker oil and has the same viscosity for for cold flow or cold viscosity the same way as thinner oil. So so there you go. Enjoy.